In this video, I'm reviewing three different compounds and polishes from the wax shop. Now let's get straight into it. What's going on? So glad you guys are here and welcome back to the Wilson Auto Detailing community. If you're a professional auto detailer who wants to become more successful and profitable in your business or just a car enthusiast who wants to improve your detailing ability, then definitely consider hitting that big red subscribe button right below this video. So before I actually get into reviewing and using these products, I want to explain to you guys how this review is going to go and how it's going to be set up so you understand what's happening. So these are three different products from the wax shop. One is called Overhaul, one is Rebuild, and one is Tune Up. It's basically a three-step polishing compound process in paint correction, right? We go from most aggressive to least aggressive. So what I'm going to be doing here is actually using my own car that I've let kind of go. So we have a ton of imperfections, ton of scratches. And what I'm going to do is in each of these squares, I'm going to use one product on top of another. So what I mean is in this first one, I'm going to be using just the thousand overhaul compound. In this one, I'm going to be using overhaul the thousand and then the two thousand. In this one, I'm going to be using the one thousand, two thousand, then three thousand. And in this one, I'm going to be using all three and then using their Carnuba wax on top of that. So basically what this is going to give us is an idea of how much each one of these corrects and then how much each one corrects when they're used in sequence like they're supposed to. So we can see really aggressive, kind of medium, you know, aggressive to, to medium aggressive. Then here we go, most aggressive, medium aggressive, least aggressive. So basically like a full compound polishing. And then we're going to finish with a Carnuba wax here. And what I'm going to do is leave this side totally undone. And not paint corrected at all because I want to have some sort of like reference point where we can see this is what it did look like and now this is what it does look like. So this is going to give us some good insight onto how these products actually work. So once again in this first square I'm going to be using the thousand heavy cut compound. It's called overhaul. I want to show you guys see how high they give you kind of like a little graph here. Really high cut really low gloss. For those of you who don't know this is considered a compound basically because it's the most aggressive approach. The more aggressive you get the more into you know compounding you get. And so the purpose of this is not to make a high gloss. The purpose is to heavily correct the surface that I'm working on. It says right here, silicone free, no fillers, no dusting, and easy removal. So I'm going to be using my DeWalt rotary polisher with my 5050 synthetic wool pad on this square. So let's go ahead and look at the before. So you guys can see the before, and then we're going to look at the after. And we're going to do that for each sequence. Look at the before square, then look at the after in between doing all of these. And then at the end, we're we're going to look at them all compared and then compare them to the original reference point of the other side that is not getting corrected. So hopefully this is picking it up a little bit and I'll kind of scan the whole surface. Again, difficult with the natural lighting and the LED at the same time. But you guys can see tons of swirls. Really this paint has never been corrected, never been polished before. I'll go ahead and go to these other squares. Really the whole hood kind of just appears the same. But you guys can see that like hologramming there. I'll go to this last side here as well so you guys can see there certainly needs a lot of correction done. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the overhaul the thousand ultra cut compound onto the 5050 synthetic wool pad and I'm gonna be a little generous use more than I normally would because I want to give kind of the product as much ability to work as I can because I'm doing the review and I'll spread it around a little bit in the square like this and basically I'm just gonna work it in with the rotary until uh, most of the polish has been worked in and it's kind of thinning out where I can just wipe it off easily. If you don't have a rotary polish Polisher. You could do this with a DA. It's not going to give quite the same results, but it's very similar. So here we go. Okay, so I had to move inside because of the rain, but here we go. Let's go ahead and look under the LED lighting at this first panel that I did with the overhaul of the thousand heavy cut compound. So you guys can see there's definitely some uh, like buffer tracks, right? Because I use the rotary and obviously anytime I use a rotary, I'm going to follow up with a DA so I can kind of perfect that stuff that happens. But what I want to do is just kind of go from this uncorrected panel here. So you guys can see this uncorrected panel, all these swirls, right? And then we move to this one that has been treated with the heavy cut compound. Now you might not be able to tell much of a difference because it is easy to confuse uh, buffer tracks with swirl marks, but that's actually not what we're experiencing here. This is what a heavy cutting compound will do. You guys can see certainly looks much better. However, once again, you never want to stop here because it's never going to be perfected. It's never going to be that high gloss kind of experience. So we'll go from here just so you guys can see what I just used with a thousand heavy cut compound over to here, uncorrected, swirls everywhere. 
Here we just have some buffer tracks, but those swirls are really, really getting minimized. So let's go ahead and go to the 1000 and then the 2000 on top of that right here. So now for the rebuild, the 2000 medium cut compound, I'm gonna move to my Rupes Bigfoot. Really, you only have to, I could use a rotary here, but really the rotary is, again, the main thing is the heavy lifting, the really aggressive approach. So after I've hit that 1000, that really heavy cut, I'm gonna go ahead and switch to my DA, let this 2000 really do the work for me. I've got a microfiber pad with a foam interface here, and uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and put the rebuild on my Rupes, and this, again, is a medium cut compound. Let this do the work, and then we're gonna come in and see what it looks like. So here we go after the second step, the 2000 rebuild medium cut. Here's what we're looking at. You guys can see it's really starting to turn out. No, this is not a high gloss or a finishing polish, but you can see the swirl marks really starting to kind of just fade away. I'm gonna go ahead and go from this. This is where we used the 1000, then the 2000, and here's where we just used the 1000. So you guys can see that dramatic difference of those buffer tracks kind of starting to disappear. The 1000 really hit the swirl marks, and then the 2000 really hit the buffer tracks. There's still some correcting that needs to happen with the 3000, which we're gonna do up here. But once again, here's what we're looking at as the final result after the 2000, 1000 with the rotary, and then here's the 1000 with the rotary and the 2000 with the DA. So very, very obvious difference and really, really starting to turn out. I want to show you guys here's after the 2000 and here's paint that hasn't been corrected at all. So here's no correction whatsoever and after the 2000 here really starting to turn out. We're gonna go ahead and hit this square right here with the 1000, 2000, and the 3000. I'm gonna do the same thing, rotary first, then 2000 with the DA, and then I'm gonna use a different pad, a finishing pad, with the 3000 with the DA, and we'll look at the final results here. Right, guys so once again hit this square with the 1000 2000 then the 3000 and you guys can see the 3000 is a low cut and a really high gloss so once again that is a finishing polish so we're just gonna go one by one here here's the 1000 with the rotary polisher again it looks really good a lot of hologramming here we move to the 2000 we hit it with the rotary polisher and then the DA with the 2000 much less swirling much less hologramming here and then here we've got the 1000 2000 and 3000 and you guys can see obviously this is going to be the best results look really good really can't see a lot of swirls I can see a little bit of imperfections once again that is to be expected um, with a car like this but once again you guys can see this is like a uh, really 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 looking good little bit of imperfections but again this looks really fantastic and we'll contrast it with this which has not been corrected at all you guys can see tons of swirls all that sort of stuff so now what I'm gonna do that we've done the you know fully kind of perfected one right here rotary 1000 rotary then DA 2000 we're gonna do the exact same thing that I did here and we're gonna fully perfect this square then we're gonna top it off with their carnauba wax and just see how that gives it that deep shine Okay guys, so officially done with all of these four squares. Just finished this last one. Once again, the 1000, 2000, 3000, then finished with the Deep Reflections Liquid Carnauba Wax from the wax shop. So just wanna run through this. 1000 here with the rotary, 1000, 2000 here, rotary and DA. 1000, 2000, 3000 here. Again here, finished with the liquid wax. Let's go ahead and look again here. So this, once again, this is with the rotary alone and the wool pad. Still looks fantastic, honestly. 
honestly. This is 1000 and 2000. Again, still looking very, very good. Still some buffer tracks and things like that here, but again, as to be expected. Finally here, finishing with the 3000. So 1000, 2000, 3000, and really absolutely just like looks pretty much perfect. Then here we've got the 1000, 2000, 3000 finishing with the liquid carnauba wax. And again, just looks fantastic. I want to kind of contrast it here. So you guys see this is the panel right here that was not corrected at all. So I wanted to have a reference point. This was not corrected whatsoever. Just tons of like streaking, tons of swirl marks, imperfections. And then you come over here and once again, you just see like this perfected surface finished with that liquid carnauba wax. Really looks fantastic. So there you go, guys. That is a very, very in-depth review of all, well, four of these products, the 1000, 2000, 3000 compounds, polishes, and the deep reflections. Couple notes that I wanna make real fast is number one, am I saying these are the best products around? Not at all. This is a completely unbiased review on a car that has not been corrected or maintained really in the last six months at all, so it made for a good subject. And you guys can see for yourself under the LED lighting, what the different stages do, how they react, the wool pad, the finishing pads, the DA, all those things together make for a really good review. In this case, you guys can be the judge of whether you like these polishes and compounds or not. In my opinion, these polishes definitely work like they said they were going to. There's nothing particular about them that make me go wow or shock me, but yes, they worked just like they were supposed to. Heavy cutting, medium cutting, high gloss, low cutting, and again, that liquid deep kind of shine from the carnauba wax work just like it's supposed to. Definitely quality products, no doubt about that. Um, definitely a really good price point as well. And again, do what they say they're going to do. So really no hype surrounding these products. Definitely think they're great for anybody's arsenal. So if you guys would like to check out the Wax Shop brand and their products, I'm gonna link up all of their products below in the YouTube description box underneath this video. If you wanna get any of these polishes or compounds or even the machines I use like the DA, the rotary and all that sort of stuff, I'm gonna hook up those machines and the pads I used below. So if you guys want to buy anything, use my Amazon links. It does give this channel a very small commission, but it helps this channel stay alive so I can keep giving out awesome content just like this all the time. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, hook up all that stuff in the YouTube comments below because I always read those and I'm sure to get back to you guys as fast as I can. And if you're new to the Wilson Auto Detailing community, then definitely consider subscribing because I come out with videos all the time just like this on products, tools, strategies, communication skills, business skills, and so much more, all in an effort to help the pro detailers become more successful and profitable in their businesses. And on this channel, I share the same strategy that turn my business into a full-time income with part-time hours. So if that interests you, definitely subscribe. Once again, thank you guys so much for being involved here. And as always, from Luke here at Wilson Auto Detailing, keep working hard, and I'll see you guys in the next video.